Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Flip Furniture Mom. My name is Maggie and here this week project. I got this piece on Facebook Marketplace a while ago. I have this uh, Hamuri in my storage for a while. Was my storage piece and today I'm go to transform this Hamuri in a, a barn in a cabinet bar. It's in a pretty good shape. Have this, but I really like this thing. Miss the back, but I'm going to put a new back. Have two shelves. And I'm going to keep that holes for if the people want to uh, change the higher of the shelves, yes. two towers is a good brand. Looks like the towers is high wood, but the front towers is uh, solid wood. Here is solid wood. The doors is solid wood. It's in a pretty good shape. It's all solid wood. I have something more damage or something here, but I'm gonna take it off this this details. I'm gonna take it off all these details. I'm gonna put the new back. It's a vintage piece from 1942. It's a very old piece. Let's go to start on this baby. First, I'm going to remove the hardware. I'm going to keep this hardware for another project, but I'm going to uh, later uh, apply a new hardware. the shelves, the uh, drawers, the doors. I'm going to remove the doors now. to remove the ceiling I already removed the screws take it off the ceiling for make cleaning lines and more modern piece this is solid wood too but I'm going to remove all these details
all the sides is cut down now i'm go uh, to send with 220 grief and paper just a scarf sunday i'm gonna do a scarf sander inside the, the, the doors the doors and um, sanding down outside The sand is done in the very wood. Now I'm going to do a good cleaning and take care of all this dust. sharp pink in color uh, midnight blue i'm going to apply with this stencil we design with prima uh, by Katja. on the shelves inside the cabinet and uh, that's all i'm going to apply with the plate and the roller some designer on on uh, this front drawers and on the sides because this solid pine in the berry wood i really don't like it i like make this piece in a statement piece and i'm going to use these two two sides of um, tape i'm not um, as an expert in tape but i'm going to try make some designer on this front uh, door doors finally my uh, tape is done let's go to pink i'm going to use the same uh, color i use inside on the stencils
not got to paint, I'm going to stain with uh, chest, um, gel stain with the color chestnut, I'm going to apply with a little rod. ready for the top coat I'm so very happy with this stain comes out so rich color so gorgeous for my first time I'm going to apply polyene in oil base in a SME gloss clear SME gloss because I think this cabinet needs something shine and reach. I'm going to apply with my uh, spray gun, a pin spray gun. Of course, I use my uh, safety mask and light sand between coats. I will do two coats on the toro. I'm going to paint each one uh, the same color I did the stencils. This Rex is my uh, my uh, Rex for uh, hold the barrel wines or the barrel liquors. I'm going to with glue I'm got this um, glass holders from Amazon back I'm going to start with the, the ceiling of the cabinet apply inside the drawers and out feed and wax for protect uh, this this wood and make more uh, smells good the hardware I choose for this project was this one I bought on Amazon I leave the link below I think this hardware complete the this piece very well. I really love this hardware. Here 
final work done. I really love these handles. Go so well with this cabinet. You remember this top before and now it's so straight lines. I really love this art deco paint design. I really love the legs. Look of this inside. Hold nine bottles of liquor or wine. I really love this stencil. Redesign with Prima by Katja. I really, really love. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed like I did to make it. Please like, share and subscribe on my channel. And this Sunday, I will participate in another challenge. Hosting by Cory over dessert DIY. In spirit to giving. Please no miss that. And see all the participants who will be fun. See you next one. Bye, guys.